Now, while we're discussing trimming and otherwise modifying an edit in the timeline, there are a few things I want to point out to you because there are freedoms that DaVinci Resolve gives you that aren't necessarily available in other editing applications. And there are freedoms that can potentially be disturbing if you don't know about them. Once you realize how it works, it's actually pretty nice. So, for example, we've got this series of clips right here that I've trimmed together. In fact, I'll zoom in on this part of the timeline. Let's just say I decided I wanted to delete this clip right here. Now, this could potentially be a thorny situation because I've got these split edits available. But check it out. I select that middle clip and I press the forward delete key to do a ripple delete. And DaVinci Resolve closes that gap and overwrites the audio of the previous clip with that split audio from the following clip. So it well and truly closes the gap. Again, no more clip conflict errors and no more unwanted gaps just sitting there. Now, of course, if you don't like this result, there are multiple levels I'm going to do, so I can go ahead and press Command-Z, go back to the way it was, and if I want, I can just do a lift edit and do anything else I want to do. But just be aware, if you do a ripple delete to close a gap, you are really going to close that gap, which personally I really like. Another area where DaVinci Resolve doesn't stop you from doing something you may really want to do is when it comes time to use three-point editing to edit clips into the timeline. So say I position the playhead there and I press the X key to select that entire clip and I select a completely different clip. Say this piece of clip right here. And let's say for whatever reason I just want to use this little segment. Now, this section of clip is clearly smaller than the section of the timeline I wanted to edit it into. However, if I go ahead and do an overwrite edit, Resolve just does the edit. It doesn't complain. It doesn't bark at me. It goes ahead and drops the small section of clip into the area that I wanted it to do so without complaining that there isn't enough media. Again, if I don't like the result, I can undo to go back to the way it was before. By the way, pressing Command-Shift-Z does a redo to Command-Z's undo. So redoing to the edit that I just performed, I could perhaps find other ways of fixing an edit that didn't have quite enough media without sitting there and wondering why didn't I have enough media in the source viewer. Bottom line, DaVinci Resolve always tries to do the thing that you just told it to do.